Hey fam, it's Dr. Jen Caudle here. We are talking about infant botulism today. I'm gonna to tell you what it is, uh, what the symptoms are, and what the treatment is. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more updates like this. All right, let's just jump right in. Infant botulism is rare, which is good, but it is potentially life-threatening, which is why you wanna know if your baby has symptoms such as this. Basically, infant botulism causes a slow form of paralysis in infants, and it generally affects babies under one year old. Now the issue here, and by the way, this is why we tell parents do not give your children honey if they are less than one years old, because infant botulism can happen with honey in those uh, in that age group. But babies can get botulism if they eat something that contains spores from a bacteria called Clostridium botulinum, okay? What happens is inside the baby's digestive system, these spores really kind of return to their bacterial form and they make a toxin. As you can imagine, toxin is not good. It is toxic. The toxin that is made actually then will enter the baby's bloodstream and uh, disrupts the nervous system. That's um, spinal cord, nerves, things like that, muscles, etc. And that's what causes the symptoms of in infant botulism. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, it can come on slowly and gradually get worse over time. And now let's go into some symptoms. I know this is super important, so let's go over this choking when the baby's trying to feed, maybe constipation or a change in their bowel habits, maybe a weaker suck or poor feeding, not eating and feeding the way they should eyelid drooping, um, being unable for the baby to lift their head or other signs of muscle weakness or paralysis. And, and that's sort of the name of the game here is it it does uh, tend to cause a sort of a slow form of paralysis. So this that's why we're seeing muscle weakness, things like that. Uh, also, uh, decreased muscle tone. The baby may seem floppy um, and uh, and things like that may not be able to use their muscles the way they should. OK, now there is good news. The good news is that infant botulism is extremely treatable, which is wonderful, okay? So for babies, the treatment starts with an antitoxin called botulism immune globulin, all right? This is something that would be given in an emergency setting. If you are suspicious that your child might have botulism, the first thing you do is you take them to the ER, you call 911, et cetera. This is an emergency condition that needs to be treated right away. The good thing is that this um, botulism immune globulin, okay, um, is given through an IV line, but the antitoxin works like an antidote, like it neutralizes the toxin that's circula uh, circulating in the baby's blood, which is a very, very good thing. All right. So understand that there is treatment, but understand you need to know um, to get your baby treatment, emergency treatment right away. And no matter whether you suspect botulism or something else, if something's not right, you take your baby to the emergency room, you call 911, you seek medical care right away. Uh, please let me know if this is helpful. I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. Please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. I do daily videos and all sorts of stuff. Uh, please uh, like and follow my page on Facebook. Again, subscribe here on YouTube. I'm on Instagram, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, TikTok, you name it. Uh, also sign up for my free health newsletter at drjencaudill.com.